past 50 years have been a time of incredible innovation. We've got jetpacks and invisibility cloaks and other cool stuff. But you know what hasn't really changed? Condoms. <laughs> Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Let's be real, condoms are pretty awesome. They prevent most types of sexually transmitted infections. They prevent babies when you're like, no thanks, don't want a baby. They're very fashionable and come in an array of sizes, colors, flavors, and thicknesses. It's good stuff, but maybe not as good as it could be. Usage isn't as high as it should be ideally in any region of the world, and one of the reasons some male users refuse to strap up is because it diminishes pleasure. So Bill and Melinda Gates are like, okay, send us a proposal for a new new kind of condom, and if we like it, we'll send you a hundred grand. A new kind of condom that won't diminish any sensation, that's easy to use, and can be distributed across developed and developing nations on the cheap. A new condom that people will always use every single time, without sex educators begging them to do so. Lots of folks across different countries have come out with their intention to compete for the Gates Grant. It's like the Hunger Games for penises. Actually, maybe that's... Not the best analogy, but you see what I'm saying, right? So what might the new condom look like? A hopeful candidate for funding is a South African company that claims to have the next big thing. It's a female condom that, unlike the clunky female condoms of present, is discreet and easy to use. The only details they've released is that it's inserted and opens like a tampon. So no word on what that one's made of. Over at University of Washington, they've already got some funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation because they're working on something that I think is truly remarkable a female condom that actually dissolves in the body. It's made by releasing a gooey solution of polymers and antiviral drugs into an electric field, where it's stretched to create very, very thin nanofibers out of the solution. The strands are like 1 25 millionth of an inch. The material it produces will physically block sexually transmitted diseases, provide chemical contraceptives to stop pregnancy, and release HIV preventative drugs after use. There are two versions of this condom so far, one that dissolves immediately after you put it in and another that dissolves over the course of a couple days. Of course, if you don't think that's friggin' amazing, there's always the bacon condom. Yes, it's real. The bacon condom looks and tastes like bacon, which, you know, if that doesn't say yum, savor sex, I don't really know what does. So what do you guys think of the new condoms? And do you have any brilliant ideas of your own? You should share them below. I will totally not steal them. Don't forget to add our Facebook for more D-News Science updates, and I'll see you next time.